You want something cool? How about a cool clock? This will be a guide to show you what are the features you need to know about for a cool clock. So let's get that paper out of the way and get another clean piece of paper. So this is the guide on how to get, how to see what a cool clock is. What it needs to be Well, first off, it has to have style, look nice, slash fancy. Because if it doesn't look nice, it ain't a cool clock. Second of all, it doesn't matter if you can tell the time on the clock or not. It's all about being cool and not about actually telling time. And lastly, it needs to be orange. So I think I found one great clock. And I need some tools to open it. Got my knife. Got my screwdriver. Just need to screw three things off here. One was already unscrewed. Get those out of the way to show you how cool this clock really is. The sad part about this box was I didn't get to use my knife, so I thought I might as well stab the box. Now here is the clock. That's what I call a cool clock. I'll clean this beauty off and show you how good it is. It's beautiful. It's got that nice orange, barely can tell what time it is. That's one of the criteria, it doesn't matter if you can, you can actually tell the time. Got a nice aluminum and everything, so we're gonna check off, see what it actually did. It got the needs to be orange category, but does not matter if you tell time, and fancy looks nice in style. So what else does it need to be? This clock is totally approved. There's nothing else you need in this cool clock. It's one of the best you can get. Very fancy. Now there's one last thing I have to do with this clock, and is that is to put in the batteries. It still needs to work. I don't want a fancy clock that doesn't still tell time. Even if I can't read the time, I still want to tell time. So I'm just like testing batteries. So here's the one that works. Now all I have to do is set the time. So now here I go, get my trusty LG Optimus G Pro, checking the time, it's 11.34 in the morning. Now I need to flip it around, get the knob to spin it, and start setting the time. I realized, what, which, I realized enough to set the time because always the smaller hand is the hour, so I knew that much for the clock. So to set the correct time, good thing, when I checked the clock, my clock again, it was 11.35, so I set it right on that dot. Made it really easy just to do the time instead of 11.36 or 38. That's a hard time to set with one of these clocks. But I got a really easy time to set, and now I got my fancy clock working. So tell me about your fancy clock below. Here's a good shot of it. Thanks for watching. And if you have any interesting clocks down below, write them. Write what they are. And if they're my if they're approved by me, just tell me. And thanks for watching and goodbye.